What is going on, Abysmatics? As you can see, I'm back in the gym and I'm back jumping again. I had to take some time off because I've been dealing with jumper's knee and my left knee. Not my right one, not the one I had surgery on back in 2011. My right knee, my good knee. <laughs> but um, as you know, I like to go hard in the gym. I do a lot of jumping. And, you know, sometimes you're, you got to listen to your body. So I took some time off. Now I got the knees wrapped up real tight, as you can see. And I keep these on whether or not I'm working legs or not because I realize being functional, training clients, always on the go is wear and tear on the body. So you have to listen to your body. Here, this is about 48 inches. And um, I had two failures. You see, I'm showing you guys at the end of the day, I don't always make the jump. But that doesn't stop me. That doesn't hinder me. You know, the fact that there's probably 20 to 30 people around in that area at any given time or more doesn't stop me. I keep going. Boom. Just got it again. So I got it the first time. Then I think I failed like four times before I got it again. Most people will say, okay, I finally got it again. Let's stop. Not me. I put another one on, as you'll see, um, coming up here in a couple of minutes. But yeah, let me talk about my knee. So... I noticed I had like a little pain, like in the, it's the quadricep tendon. I think that's what it is. I didn't go to the doctor or anything. I know I had I didn't do anything to really hurt it as far as an accident or falling or sports or anything like that. It's just the the jumping. I mean, that's all I can say. It's just the jumping. It wasn't the squats. It wasn't. The bench, or not the bench, but like the hack squad or anything like that. It was the jumping. Now I'm back in it. I'm jumping again, but I'm being very smart. I think here is where I go grab another one. So now this is approximately, I think this is a little over 48 inches. So maybe 49, 50, maybe. I'm not sure. And here, I'm going for it, guys. Boom first time and this is with my knee you know giving me issues not trying to stroke my ego or anything like that but once I put something in my mind of course I'm gonna play it safe of course I'm gonna be smart but when I put something in my mind I'm going to do it because I realize that the mind is the strongest part of my being I'm not gonna say your being but I think it's your being also but the mind is everything guys and whatever you put in your mind will take root will take root and eventually it will show up in your actions will show up in oh let me stop talking all right so the workout is complete we did a hundred shoulder presses we did some uh mountain not mountain climbers we did some muscle ups we did some box jumps what else did we do is that it I spent a lot of time on the boxes because i actually did uh um, i haven't been able to really train box jumps in a while because i had jumper sneak go figure but anyway, we were able to get it in, have these knees wrapped extra tight. That way I was able to jump with no pain at all, just keeping everything nice and tight. And we did some, some box jump squats. Is that, is that the name for it? I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name. I still haven't eaten any food. I had my tea, which has some honey in it, so they gave me a little bit of carbs. But I'm extremely hungry right now. Actually, I'm not even really that hungry right now. It's crazy how you can be starving and then, you know, you get involved in doing something else and all of a sudden you're not as hungry anymore. so I'm gonna eat because I know I need to eat it is probably about five o'clock and I gotta eat something all right so I'm about to go eat I'm probably gonna go get some um, some eggs I'm out